Well, hello there. Welcome to another of my videos. In case you can't tell, I'm going to be playing Res Infinite on the PS4 in VR. So, I am in the VR headset now. Uh, this was actually um, given away recently by Sony as part of their Play at Home campaign. Um, incidentally, apologies if I have to stop at any point and wipe the lenses on this headset. They do have a tendency to get a bit steamed up. Um, so I have played through all of the normal levels, areas 1 to 5. I thought it was really good. Um, it's, it's amazing that Res even works in VR, never mind that it works as well as it does. I, I find it quite staggering. Um, but today I'm going to be playing Area X. Um, now I don't really know much about this, other than um, people have raved about it. Um, I know that it was made specifically for this version of Res, Res Infinite, and I know that it's not an on-rails mode. I know it's got some sort of free roaming mode. Don't really know much else about it aside from that, so this will be my genuine reaction to a new Res level. Uh, if you just bear with me, I'm going to wipe my lenses once more before I start. They do get a bit steamed up. Sorry about that. Okay. I do find it a little bit uncomfortable wearing this sometimes, particularly when I'm trying to keep it in focus. I have to move it down my nose a bit further than I'd like, otherwise it goes a little bit blurry. So I might just adjust it every so often, particularly when looking downwards. It tends to go out of focus a little bit. It's a bit annoying, but it's not too bad at the moment. So here we go. Okay, there's a beginner's mode and a normal mode. I'll just play the normal mode. Here we go. Here we are. Okay, so aim controls, fly and boost with R1, stop and back up with R2. Lock on and fire, so I can still move that around. I've still got headset aiming turned on as well. Oh, oh okay, yep, I'm actually, wow. Yeah, mo, look where you want to fly. Blue destination item, red incoming attack. Okay, this is... Wow. Ha! <laughs> well, this is certainly a visual upgrade. Oh my god. Okay, I need to be moving forwards, I think, so... still kind of feels like an on-rails game because I don't really know what way I'm supposed to be going but okay oh no there's, there's more things over here Wow. 
I mean, yeah, it still looks like res, it's just like, there's a lot more particle effects. Uh, and everything's a lot more vibrant and impressive. Wow. I can't get my head around this not being on rails anymore. This is unexpected. Like, should I be turning around and looking behind me now, or...? I guess if it's not on rails, I don't really have a destination point. I guess I just have to shoot down all the enemies. Backwards as well, see? What is this thing? to get eight lock-ons if I can. I think you get a better score if you do that, but it doesn't always work. I don't know if I've got my... Do I get my smart bombs in this version or not? I don't really know. The only difficulty is it's difficult to look around without just going that way. Oh wow. Okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to be ah, shooting this. Yeah. Things do get, do get a bit blurry when I look at my head. I'm going right here, here we go. Anything behind me, below me, I mean, what am I? Here we go. Let's go towards this thing, see what happens. Ah. I don't think anything's hit me yet, but I could be wrong. Okay, let's fly up towards that. And fly towards this one. Yeah, as you get towards them, they open up to be hit. So it is, it's, you know, slowly teaching me its new systems. Wow. <laughs> this is, is kind of crazy. <laughs> Yep, right there. That's it.
got to prioritise targets that are more likely to shoot at me. Wow. Oh, there we go. That's a bit like the Running Man boss. Oh my god. Incoming missiles are nice and slow. So apparently Area X was made in Unreal Engine 4, which is a which is a modern engine and obviously not what they used for the original game. Um, and yeah, it, it shows. Ooh, nice. I've reached the uh, Reach the meditating man phase. I see one going this way. There's nothing behind me now, is there? Difficulty with res games is never knowing how long I should keep the lock on held for. Right, like, you try to get a maximum, but the longer you leave it to wait for another target, the more likely you're going to be hit by something. I guess that's kind of the whole point of the game, isn't it, really? difficult to know what to hit and what not to hit. Particularly in a free roam mode when enemies can be coming from all around. There we go. Yeah, these are very impressive visuals. And yet, it still looks like Res. It's just sort of Res 2.0, I suppose. Oh my god. I mean, thankfully, the enemies don't seem to be too aggressive. And if you get them in good time, you're pretty, you're pretty safe. Pressing the X button a lot.
Was there an incoming target uh, notifier? I think it said there was. Maybe I'm subconsciously aware of it. No, no you don't. That's a lot of targets, wow. I haven't really moved for a while. Maybe I should try and go in closer. No, I can't. <laughs> oh, I got hit. No. Too careless. Oh, hi. Oh, there's more. Don't shoot me. Is that it? Wow. Okay, that was a bit shorter than I expected, I've got to say. But, I mean, that was good. I don't think it was quite the transcendent experience I was expecting, but uh, it, it was good. There might be more at the end, I don't know, but I'm guessing that's, that's it. Unreal Engine 4. Surprised they got it running at 60 FPS, to be honest. Still move around a little bit. Oh, I can fly all the way around. Ah, and now the credits are backwards. <laughs> Okay. 
95.9%. Yeah. I think I might get a trophy for that, I'm not sure. Just got one. Just got hit once. Okay. Um, I think that's it. I don't think there's anything more to Area X. There's a travelling mode and a play mode. There was a, a trophy for finding another boss, I think, but... Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll save that for another time. Anyway, thanks for watching. It's uh, It's been interesting. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed watching me playing and reacting to Area X of Res. Res Infinite, I should say. Um, I think this is still available for free on PlayStation if you've uh, not already downloaded it at the time of this recording. Uh, if not, then, well, I'm sure it will turn up in a sale. Um, it's worth it. It's a good version of Res. I'm, I'm glad that classic games like this are preserved and, well, in this case, upgraded. So thanks for watching, and uh, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.